Hi, my name is Allison Derbice, and I'm doing the Central Line Dressing Change Skills Remediation video. I'm going to start by performing hand hygiene and entering my patient's room, introducing myself as the nurse, and letting them know that I'm doing their Central Line Dressing Change. I'm then going to shut the door and curtain to provide privacy and verify my patient using two patient identifiers. Once I've done that, I've brought in my dressing change material. So I've got my Central Line kit, some clean gloves, and a mask. I'm going to perform hand hygiene and put on my mask. So once I've put on my mask, I am then going to ask that the patient put on a mask or turn their head away to maintain sterility during the procedure. I'm gonna perform hand hygiene and put on new gloves. I'm gonna remove my old dressing by stabilizing it with my non-dominant hand and pulling gently and parallel to the skin on each corner until it has been removed making sure not to touch the sterile area. So once I remove my old dressing, I can discard of it in the trash. And I'm going to inspect the catheter, the insertion site, and the area around the catheter to make sure there's no damage to the catheter, it's in the correct place, and the skin around it is intact and good to put new adhesive on. Once I've done this, I'm going to remove my gloves and discard them in the trash. I'm then going to perform hand hygiene again. Once I've done this, I'm going to open my skills kit away from me, and I'm going to get out my sterile gloves. I'm going to pinch the inside of this cuff and slip it on and then I'm going to put my fingers on the inside of this cuff and put it on. So now that that's done I'm going to touch only the sterile part of this and throw it in the trash. So now that my hands are sterile I can begin cleaning the area around the catheter. I'm going to get out my chlorhexidine wash and scrub with a black and back and forth motion for 30 seconds in a square motion, making sure to not go over areas that I've already cleaned and to do the tubing last. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to top. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do the last time. One, two, three, four, five. And I want to make sure the area that I'm cleaning is the same size as the dressing I'm using. And then I'll do the tubing last. And then I'm going to discard of this in the trash. So once I've discarded of that in the trash, I'm going to let this completely air dry for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So now that this area has dried completely, I'm going to get my sterile dressing out of my sterile kit. I'm going to remove this back piece, throw it in the trash, and then I'm going to place it over the catheter, and I'm going to make sure to press all four sides of the dressing down. So, and then I'm going to remove this white piece. One, two, three, four, and five. So all four sides of the dressing are pressed down. I'm going to discard this in the trash. And then I'm going to take this name strip. I'm going to write my name, the date, my initials, the date, and the time. So now that I've written on there, I'm going to put that on my dressing right here. I discarded this in the trash. Once I've labeled my dressing with the date, the time, and my initials, I can discard of my little guitars. And then I'm going to get rid of my soil gloves. And I'm going to perform hand hygiene. 
and document that the sterile line dressing change has been completed.